Vice President Inonge Wina Friday morning lost her coup in parliament while reacting to queries over the dead Bill 10 wondering how those who never supported the bill treat their women in their homes. The UPND MPs have done a disservice to the women of this country. Yeah. The countries that have put women at the forefront, such as Rwanda here in Africa and countries like Sweden, yeah. have seen substantial development in running their countries. But here in Zambia, especially in the political party that wants to take over from PF, which will, they will not do, <laughs> they seem to relish into suppressing women. I don't want to take it further to know how their women are treated in their homes. How yeah. the vice president? Question. Question. Uh -huh. I, I do not think we should go there. The vice president further called the UPND cowards for not sitting in parliament to debate and vote for the bill, which she still maintains was progressive. We should have heard the reasons why some MPs were opposing the bill, not just to keep quiet and to be told don't participate. That is undemocratic. Yeah. UPND. <laughs> That does not even talk about what they think is wrong in the building, but only keeping um, away okay. from the house. That is a, a cowardice of the highest yeah. order, I think. But leader of the opposition, Jack Mwimbu, consoled the vice president, saying her statements are a sign of mourning, but reminded her and the PF on the main times they've shot down progressive motions in parliament including a motion raised by Kapirin Ponshi Member of Parliament, Stanley Kakubo, to reinstate new allowances. Your Honour, the Vice President, have noted that you have not stopped mourning over the demise of Bill 10. Your Honour, the Vice President, Your Honour, the Vice President, your party, your finger, Honourable yeah. Leader of Opposition, Your Honour, the Vice President, Your Honour, the Vice President, your party, in 2011, defeated the motion that was moved by the MMD that included proportional representation by walking out of this house. Again, Mr. Speaker, in 2015, the PF on the floor of this house amended and removed the clause that was proposing for proportional representation on the basis that all women should be free to contest. That is in the Hansard. Why are you somersaulting now? Because of the obnoxious butane that contained so many bad clauses that led it to its defeat. And also, Your Honor, the Vice President, we gave you members of the UPND to vote with you. You still failed. So you are the ones who failed the people of Zambia by not coming up with a constitution. A good the Bill 10 debate dominated the Vice President's question time. The PF several claimed they had the numbers, telling the nation once the bill was brought in the House, it was going to go through without any difficulties. Others even vowed to move naked on the streets of Zambia if the bill failed to pass beyond second reading. That is in the past now, but the present is that the same people are now accusing themselves of tampering with the system because those who were against the bill were absent from parliament. We had the numbers. We had the numbers and we still have the numbers. If we have to go back for a rerun, bill number 10 will go through. If the system is not tempered with to show, for example, that the PF were 84, when we were not 84, we were 83, right? So the, that shows you, that shows you that uh, somebody tempered with the system to make sure that bill number 10 does not go through. The speaker, on the other hand, maintains that there was no system failure has been claimed. Indeed, as the members say, Uwa wa tabulaka be pesho, simply translated, he who falls is never short of excuses.
Kalan Mochima reporting for Comrade News in Osaka.